Hello everybody. Welcome back to How to Build a B-1 Bomber. Sorry about not putting out no videos yesterday, but me and old Chuck Nasty over here. Hey, everybody, this is my buddy Chuck. We'll call him Chuck Nasty for short. I don't. But uh, we was over here yesterday, man, and it was a free-for-all. We had resin everywhere, man, and I got both halves of my nose laid up. We got all these sections laid up yesterday. I had my back halves done. Oh, and I did my bottom of my back part of my fuselage. So we got these two uh, big center sections left. We're going to try and smoke them out today. But I don't know, if we get one done today, one done tomorrow, I'll be happy. But uh, I'll make them another movie today, show you how we lay this one up. And we had someone ask if I was going to lay this whole thing up with uh, carbon fiber. And uh, hey, sorry about this, guys. My computer's been down. And I really haven't been able to get on there and look at the questions and everything. And, but I'm going to try to answer a few of them. So we're just going to make the back part carbon fiber where the elevator system is. We don't want that back part, part to have no twist, no tweak, uh, nothing like that in it. So we're just doing the back part up in carbon. And uh, the nose is just plain old fiberglass. See, it's done. And then all our end pieces are uh, just fiberglass. Here, this one's still got pill ply on it. A few people that have never seen pill ply, you would think that stuff would just really stick to that resin. But it don't. It kind of takes two hands to do it. But it just peels right out of there. Wham, well, and then you got that nice smooth surface. And uh, I'm going to make lips. I'm going to put a lip on there and a lip on my tailpiece like I did when I laid that fuselage up earlier. Went ahead and let Butch have that nose because uh, he's going to work on our cockpit. And uh, plus, I don't want my nose to unbolt. I want my fuselage all one piece. And... Uh, I got my, here's what we're going to do at the bottom. I got my full kit sitting in there. Pretty much how it was going to sit. I didn't want to move it around too much. It's still off to that side a little bit. I didn't want to scratch up my mold. But it fits in there perfect. I mean perfect. Then on the bottom, what I'm going to do, since this is such a big part, I don't want it floppy. And it'll really sturdy up my bomb bay doors and my gear doors. But I'm going to put a layer of fiberglass, or probably two layers of fiberglass. Then I'm going to glue all this balsa sheeting together, like a wing skin, you know. And then I'll put another fiberglass over the top of it. Except, we don't want no balsa underneath that bulkhead. So I'm going to stop my sheeting short. I'm going to lay my straight edge on there and mark it. So once I get it primed, I'll know where to put this stuff. But I'm going to leave that balsa sheeting short because I don't want that bulkhead sitting on it uh, just wearing into the balsa. And to make up for the height difference right there, I'm, I'm going to put a couple layers of carbon fiber and then uh, build it up with fiberglass, two or three layers of fiberglass. And that will give me a really thick, sturdy piece of fiberglass to glue that bulkhead to. Then I'm still going to put my plywood edge around there, just to, you know, about half inch wide. And then we're going to bolt it to that bulkhead, and that'll give us a really good glue surface, and we won't have to worry about that popping loose, especially if this fiberglass is so thick. Man, that fiberglass will be thick. A couple layers of carbon, that'll be stiff, rigid, and that bulkhead won't pop loose. But that's where it's going to sit. And it just fits in there perfect, just kind of like it was playing. That's just amazing how that stuff works. And we got old, we got old Chuck over there cleaning. Gonna get that thing all clean and get a coat of wax on it, get it primed, and uh, get some fiberglass on that thing. Now, hopefully, if we get these laid up today, we'll probably just get to one. I don't know if we'll get this far. So I'm going to get all that sheeting glued together and get it ready pretty much. 
If we have to do it tomorrow, that's fine. Now give me more than, than enough time I need to uh, get all this stuff glued together and uh, haul it down to Breckenridge to our jet meet. That's going. That's next weekend, everybody. Breckenridge, Texas, and it's at. Someone asked me where we're at in Breckenridge. It's at the Municipal Airport, and it's a really nice facility. They got. Uh, they don't have no RV hookups, but you're welcome to put an RV there and camp. They got hotels, and uh, they're gonna feed everybody. It's gonna be a good time. Bring some jets, and uh, let's show them boys in Texas how how we fly jets, and uh, have us a good time. And uh, that and that and that's about all I got for you right now. But sorry about the not making no video yesterday. But we did, we had resin everywhere, and it was a melee. We all day long. It took a long time to lay all them pieces up. And uh, hopefully we'll get these two done, and we're gonna have a bomber sitting here on wheels. Believe it or not, it's happening. And where's it happening? Right here in the shop. And where are we going to see you? Chuck, tell them. Breckenridge, Texas. In the shop. In the shop. <laughs> see ya.